Hello, good evening everyone, welcome along, it's Thursday the 11th of April <clears throat> and on that note I'm now going to say good night and thank you very much for watching uh, because someone has just mentioned the uh, forbidden TV show that tends to break the quiz so I'm just going to say good night now and then when it breaks then at least you know why. Anyway, hope you're all well, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, it's been... It's been a long, long week since, at least to be fair, tonight, after when I came back from London and on Saturday's quiz, for the first about four minutes, for the first time in a couple of years, I'd muted myself. Uh, it's been a long while since I've done that. Um, and that was Saturday night. But yeah, if you don't play on a Saturday night, I'm back. I'm here. I'm live. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets, to be honest. Uh, thank you very much for all of your birthday wishes and stuff as well on Tuesday. I didn't want to fuss, I'll be honest. Um... And I've also had some lovely cards that turned up today. <laughs> Thanks. Um, no, uh, yeah, it's been a very bizarre um, post. Uh, we get sort of post every couple of days. And uh, yeah, it um, sort of decided to appear today. So lovely cards as well. Uh, they're all downstairs. I was meant to bring them up with me, actually. But yeah, so thank you very much. If you sent a card, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, that's, um, yeah, um, it was very, 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 and I'm still recovering from it. It was a very, very intense week last week. Uh, recording the audio book, it was very, very full on, very, very hectic, very, very, um, yeah, pretty much all the words that you can possibly use. Um, but got to have some fun as well while I was down there, caught up with some lovely people as well at the same time so yeah all good and you will hear it on the 16th of may oh for pity's sake huh and you'll hear it on the 16th of may wasn't sure if i was going to yawn or anyway right uh let's do let's jump in and start saying hello to some of you lovely people firstly i do want to say a massive happy birthday uh to Anne's husband as well he is retired from the fire force uh, from the fire brigade uh but has gone back to work to train firefighters and it's his birthday so massive massive happy birthday to you i have the utmost respect for firefighters uh cousins a firefighter and know some of the harrowing things that firefighters go through uh, on a daily basis so yeah massive massive happy birthday to him hope he uh, will be spoilt rotten which i think he will do uh no doubt right let's start saying some hello to some of you other lovely people out there tonight oh. what a, I've, i think i did i was like six hours a day of talking into a microphone and i don't think my jaws recovered anyway um happy um, no <laughs> Hope you have. This is really not gone well, has it? See, you mentioned that forbidden TV show and it just all falls apart. Um, anyway, right. Hello to our friends over in Sweden. Two weird dots above the O over there in Horby. Good evening to you guys. Um, hope you are both well over there. Hello to Denise as well. Good evening to you. Hope you are well. It keeps clicking. This is not going to go well tonight. Uh, but yeah, uh, have, <laughs> hello to you, Denise How as well. Good evening to you. Uh, hello to Kev and Leslie in nearly sunny red car. Uh, looking for a good score tonight. I got in my car to go and pick Jack up from school. And he said he was 19 degrees. I don't believe that in the slightest. It did not feel 19 degrees. I'll be completely honest. But yeah, so, uh, but it has been, well, although I say it's been sunny, but it's tipping it down at the minute. Uh, summer's here, ladies and gents. It's not. Uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, hello to you guys. Hope you are well. Uh, hello to Lorna Solo. Sounds like a Star Wars character, but she's just on her own as Kieran's at band practice again. Uh, the quiz is strong with this one. She always does better when you're not around as well, Kieran. I'm not saying it's a sort of like a, a coincidence, but you know, while you're at band practice. Uh, but yeah, hope you're well, and I'm sure Laura will tell you um, that I said hello as well. Uh, hello to uh, Jenny Thorpe, who says, hello from Paynton in Devon. Uh, last three weeks, I have done the quiz from Pompeii, Lake Garda, and Menaggio on Lake Como. I mean, we're getting around. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to so many lovely places, and I don't even know. I've not even got the tan to show for it. Uh, no, hope you had an incredible time in those wonderful three places. Uh, hello to Jean Farrell as well. Good evening to you and all of the Devonshire dumplings who are in this evening. Good evening to you guys. Um, well, blah, blah, blah. Uh, quizzing on our own tonight here in Sanka. Uh, Wegman are all back in their bases. We'll connect with Pete and Mel in Somerset. Uh, that's Jim and Selena. 
I mean, that feels weird. You're all sort of not in your like relatively like different places around Europe, but okay. I mean, um, did you manage to find homes? Have you got back safely? Um, that's a sort of key thought. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are all well. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, hello to Emma, who says, looking forward to tonight's quiz. Could you wish my son Finley a happy 12th birthday for Sunday? Of course we can. Happy 12th birthday for Sunday, Finley. See, all the best people are born in April. I have to say that because both Sarah and Jack are also born in April. Um, but yeah, happy birthday for Sunday, Finley. Hope you have an incredible, incredible day. Uh, hello to Jeanette and John and Laura Armstrong in Belfast. Good evening to you guys. Hope you are well. Uh, hello to Andrew. Um, oh, I like this. Yeah, because my the um, Facebook post this morning was, um, if I pick up the right mouse, I'll be all right. Uh, money, status. Uh, what what gives people the feelings of power? Money, status. But the most important one was the connection round in one. Um, and Andrew says, I take the in one as our moral victories until we finally crack club 50 close again on saturday with 48 uh, here's to tonight's quiz in regards to all that's hedgehog and the flatmates good evening to all of you guys hope you are all well um hello to pam alan catherine todd and bob our canine family uh in cloudy almost a bit sunny stockton on tees uh, good evening to you guys hope you are all well as well um hopefully the sun will appear soon i really i'm not switched on tonight i'm trying to move mouse and i've because i've got two pcs one is streaming and the other one has all the other stuff on it um and i keep i've done it again keep picking up the wrong mouse to scroll up this is not going well i don't say like have it the right way around and stuff like that it's one of them's wireless one of them's not it, it's a confusing world that i live in and i love overcomplicating it um hello to, <laughs> to move on hello to keith and pat in andover good evening to you guys they are playing against luke and christina in cleethorpes uh, so good evening to you guys hope you are all well lovely place cleethorpes actually uh hello to amy and lynn in port hill in stoke on trent good evening to you guys uh hello to sass as well hashtag team x to looking forward to tonight's quiz it's our four-year anniversary of joining you wowzers I know it's like anniversary central today. 200th quiz on um, Zoe's show this morning. Uh, four year anniversary last year. But yeah, massive. Uh, yes, yeah, so four year anniversary of joining you. Fingers crossed for another hashtag Club 50. Uh, please can you give us a shout out? Sadly, James won't be joining us tonight as he's singing and prancing about on a stage for the week. Take your earplugs, people. <laughs> <laughs> so can you please tell him to break a leg from all of us? Of course I can. Uh, I don't know what, what production it is you're doing. I'm going to assume a musical of some description if you are singing and prancing about. Uh, hopefully it's not a one-man show that you, you know, singing and prancing about. But anyway, uh, but yeah, break a leg, James. I'm sure it's going to go absolutely well, even though they've said to take, um, even though they've said to take earplugs. Bless you. I'm sure you're absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, where did I get to? Hello to Moogie and Phil. Good evening to you guys. Hope you are all good good uh hello to june said for your for your birthday thursday um for the anniversary on the thursday uh we guessed monopoly before you started yeah i know i, I kind of set myself up for that one really didn't i but it won't happen again or will it <laughs> i said this last time monopoly will not be back as a connection round and it came back but there you go it'll be back at some point no doubt uh, <laughs> hello to linda herring uh always start guessing the connection on question one will tonight be the big 50 Doubtful. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. I've seen the question, so I can kind of... Round three, I like. I've not done round three for a very, very long time. But when I was back in London, I had my laptop with me. I was tidying up my quizzes and stuff. And I came across it and I went, oh, I've not done that for a while. That is, I'm going to do that on Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, so that there is... Um, there will be uh, a very interesting round three for you this evening. I'm predicting some tens. It's not, it's not difficult. It's straightforward, but... It might be a bit tricky. Uh, hello to Sir Bill Tutor of the of Legend Shire. Hope you are well. Uh, he says it's a long time since he played Twister. I'm assuming that's from the Zoe Ball question this morning. Uh, playing along with all of the YouTube live chat legends, including Christine and Jill. So good evening to you guys. Hope you are all well. Um, hello to Elaine as well, who is in sunny Spain. Uh, but Colin and the crew from the White Social Club will be joining you from a wet day. Dorset. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but however, I know that Colin is at home because he's got a bad back. So get well soon, Colin. Uh, hope you're not so bad. Hope you're on the mend. I'd send you some of my painkillers that I take for my back, but you won't get up for a week. Um, but yes, hopefully you are on the mend and you're free as well, which is even more frustrating for you because you can be sat in the club. Elaine's in Spain and you don't have to worry. Oh, bless you. Uh, it's not a flag round. Just before everyone suddenly switches off thinking there's a flag round for round three. It's not flags, okay? Don't panic. It is not flags. It is not flags. You're okay. There is a flag in tonight's quiz, but it's not a whole flag round. 
So don't panic. Don't panic. Uh, hello, uh, hello to Karen. He says, greetings from the Somerset Cornwall Zoomers. Uh, we have to admit, tried to guess the connection before question one, round one. I mean, if you get it, I mean, other than the Monopoly one, if you get it before, uh, whoa. Hang on, I'm going to come back to Sorry, I've just seen something in the Discord. I'm going to come back to that because I need to find out about this. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you do, uh, aside from Monopoly, if you do manage to get the connection on round one before I ask the first question, then you're in my head. And that's a worrying place to be because no one wants to be in my head. It's a very worrying place to be. Um, but yeah, hello to all of you guys. Hope you are all well. Sorry, Martin's just said in our uh, Patreon Discord server, uh, read that they are making a film based on Monopoly. Don't know how that is going to work. I don't care how that's going to work. I need a cameo. I did. You, I think I've done more for Monopoly in the last four years than Monopoly's done for Monopoly itself. However, that oh, I need to find out about that. Yeah. Sorry, uh, it just caught my eye. I just suddenly saw a film-based Monopoly. I'm like, oh, hello, hello. Need to, need to do some investigation on that. Um, but there we go. So um, uh, I did just see something else as well that caught my eye. Hello to Scott and Rhea as well. Good evening to you guys. Uh, is it third season, third session? I don't know. It just says, how do we get a shout out? This is our third set. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my YouTube live chat. There may well be more to that than there is. But hello to you guys. Hope you are well. Hope you both are well. Uh, let me just do my admin -y bits behind this. YouTube. I don't know whether any of you do YouTube live streaming, but it's driving me up the wall at the minute. There is, it keeps, because it's all about monetization on YouTube. And as you've probably noticed, when I do the quiz live, and if you're watching this on pre record, there's nothing I can do. It just chucks adverts in. However, um, if uh, when you watch it live, I don't, other streamers will suddenly randomly chuck an advert in um, like a YouTube ad. And I don't do that. Um, as a detriment to myself, I will be honest, but I don't do that because I don't like to like, break up the flow of it. So the only advert you generally get is when you first open up the, the stream and you get an advert then. Um, but it keeps, every time I go on to the, the, the YouTube back end, every time, if I go onto another tab and come back, it will tell me that, oh, you need to put an advert in and you have to, push three buttons to skip it um sorry i'm on a rant today <laughs> i'm that way out today uh right let me just do me add mini bits uh da -da 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 -da. let me turn that one off that one off oh no 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 don't turn that off leave that on that'll say margot robbie is producing a monopoly film is there anything she won't produce yeah but ah oh, see that mate mm, yeah but monopoly's not mattel i know she's trying to build this whole mattel universe but monopoly's not because there's a barney the dinosaur barney is a dinosaur from Matt. yeah you know the Barney, the big purple dinosaur. There's supposed to be a Barney film in the works as well uh, being produced. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Intriguing. I'll do some more. I'll do some investigation in the break and I'll report back. Anyway, right. Welcome along. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you are all well. It is Thursday, the 11th of April, and I will be fine if I stop picking up the wrong mouse. Uh, welcome along. It is Thursday, the 11th of April. Thank you very much for joining us. So here we go then. 50 questions in front of us. Seeing if, if anyone thought that it was a flag round and round three and has vanished, but I think we're good. Right, here we go. 50 questions. Let's kick it off with entertainment number one. And it's a picture to kick you off. Who is this for number one? So who is this for number one? If you're hearing backgroundy road noises, by the way, I've got my window open. Not because the heating's off in the house. It's just I'm really warm and I was freezing about 10 minutes ago. So I'll shut it in a minute. Plus also the breeze is blowing my new jade or that's on the windowsill, a very nice scent. Uh, number two, how are Buttercup, Blossom and Bubbles collectively known? How are butter, Buttercup? Oh. How are Buttercup, Blossom and Bubbles collectively known? <laughs> Sorry. Right, let me just close down the YouTube live back end. Sorry, just after the first question here, it's about 30 people. Nope, I'm off. See ya, bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, number three, which singer had hits with Baby Love, You Can't Hurry Love, and I'm Coming Out? Oh, for pity's sake. Question three, ladies and gentlemen, on your bingo cards. Who had question three? I'm not changing it for the answer. 
hopefully I won't need to pick that keyboard up again. But this time. Uh, question number four. What was the name of the TV show created by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld? What was a fictionalized version of one of the creators? What was the name of the TV show created by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld? What that was, it should be that was, uh, what was a fictionalized version of one of the creators? At number five, which duo had a grand day out, a close shave, and faced a matter of loaf and death? That is spell right. That's not a typo. Uh, which duo had a grand day out, a close shave, and faced a matter of loaf and death? Number six, according to the title of an R.E.M. song, it's the end of the what as we know it. So according to the title of an R.E.M. song, it's the end of the what as we know it. Number seven, which clumsy, destructive, but well-meaning character played by Rowan Atkinson destroys the famous painting, Whistler's Mother? Which clumsy, destructive, but well-meaning character played by Rowan Atkinson destroys the famous painting, Whistler's Mother? <clears throat> Excuse me, number eight. Who is this more recognisable for his voice work? I've got a feeling I did this picture not that long ago. Either that or this person has a very recognisable face. Uh, who is this more recognisable for his voice work? I couldn't, I couldn't see his name in the answers, but... Would have been listed as pebbles for all I know. Uh, number nine, who had hits with Son of a Preacher Man? I only want to be with you and you don't have to say you love me. Honestly, you don't. It's fine. Uh, who had hits with Son of a Preacher Man? I only want to be with you and you don't have to say you love me. make a very terrible joke then and I'm not going to. <laughs> and finally, number 10, which musical has songs Something's Coming, Maria and I Feel Pretty? I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I don't know whether that would actually give away what the musical is. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Not a clue. I think he's talking about his school team that he's in. Uh, right, round two, food and drink are then for you. Starting with this for number one, what food stuff is muscovado? Muscovado. Four syllables. 
So what foodstuff is Muscovado? And number two, which type of which type of pastry is traditionally used in eclairs, profiteroles, and churros? So what which type of pastry is traditionally used in eclairs, profiteroles, and churros? I didn't knew you hadn't come in here to see me. You were only coming here to pinch chocolate. Oh, right, okay. Will you raid the cupboard while I Hello. <laughs> you raid my little drawer. Uh, number three, which country does the lager of Grosch originate? So which country does the lager Grosch originate? Oi, what are you pinching? Mind your head. One, not three. I'm going to bed. Pick one of those three. It really hard though. We'll just pick one. You want that one? Because that's got two in it and the other one's only got one. Uh, number four, which fruit stuff has three main categories of table, juice, and wine? <laughs> Come on. Uh, which fruit stuff has three... Oh, which, which fruit stuff has three main categories of table, juice, and wine? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think you know. Why does SpongeBob lie? This is saying about something. Love you, bye. Oh, okay. Number five is the Greek taramasalata a sweet or savoury dip? So, is the Greek taramasalata a sweet or savoury dip? Why is it dough the one? I don't know. Right. <laughs> boom, boom. All right, just shush a sec. Boom. Shush. No. Number six, saffron is widely regarded as the most expensive species. Which of these is the second? Is it black pepper, cloves, or vanilla? Because then you'll tell me. And it's a tricky question. Yes, you will. So saffron is widely regarded as the most expensive species. Which of these is the second? Is it black pepper, cloves, or vanilla? Oh, boom, boom. Right, go on. You need to go and eat those. <coughs> Otherwise, you're going to run out of time. I'm a monster cat. Mummy will be coming up to put you to bed. He hasn't seen the massive amount of sweets I've got under my desk at one of my best... One of my uh, best friends bought me yesterday as part of my birthday present when I went to the quiz. He's not seen that lot. Uh, number seven, name the flatbread. Yeah, okay, saffron. I, I've got two spelling mistakes in tonight. Uh, name the flatbread from this one. Uh, number eight, from which language does the word biscuit originate? Who's picking on me for my spelling tonight? Getting older, it's getting harder. Uh, number nine, which drink once had the slogan, what's the worst that could happen? Which drink once had the slogan, what's the worst that could happen? A phrase that could be termed for four years ago when I put up a post for the local people of Darwin. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? And finally, number 10, ABV stands for alcohol by what? So number 10, ABV stands for alcohol by what? Boy. 
Bodum, Bodum. Train. Um, round three then. Two clues, one word. So this is a round I haven't done for a very long time. So the word is spelt the same. It's our, it's the, there is a word. It's homonymonymonymonymonym. Do, 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 do. Homonymonymonymonymonym. Uh, that word. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you two, clo two clues. Uh, they both relate to the, the answer is the same to both clues. I've really overcomplicated that, haven't I? Two clues, one word. That's all you need to know. There we go. Number one. Uh, it could be child's what or it could be on a stage. It could be child's what or it could be on a stage. Number two, somewhere to leave a car or somewhere to find swings. So somewhere to leave a car or somewhere to find swings. Number three, a type of bird or a heavy lifting machine high in the sky. So a type of bird or a heavy lifting machine high in the sky. Number four, impartial or just, oh, start again, impartial or impartial or just, right, no, I've put too many oars in this, impartial or just or light blonde hair. So impartial or just or light blonde hair. Train. I don't think I did in the end. No, I think I might have done train last time. I was going to say that would have been brilliant timing if I'd have got to a question that the answer was train. Yeah. Uh, number five, vital cricket equipment or a nocturnal animal? So vital cricket equipment or a nocturnal animal? Number six, something brand new or a storybook? So something brand new or a storybook? I was going to tweak that one. I'm not going to. I was going to. Uh, number seven, a day in a calendar or a romantic meeting between two people. So a day in a calendar or a romantic meeting between two people. Uh, number eight, a moment of a day or the runner up? So a moment of a day or the runner up? Number nine, it bl it belongs to me or a deep shaft. Stop giggling. 
It belongs to me or a deep shaft. Stop giggling. I can hear you from here. Stop giggling. And your final one of these, number 10. From the tree or a dog's speak. So from the tree or a dog's speak. Honestly, I can hear people giggling from here. Children. Right, uh, that's your first 30 questions up on the, the first 30 questions done so far. Uh, the If you need a recap or if you want to have a look at those pictures again, scan the QR code on your left-hand side of the screen or just go to jvpqquestions.com and you will be able to see the first three rounds are up there now. Uh, when you land on the page, go onto the menu, click the 6th of April because I haven't changed the date. Sorry, my bad. Uh, click the 6th of April. I've just realised. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, yeah, click on the 6th of April and the first three rounds are there. Trust me, they are changed over. I have done them. I just forgot to change the date. Uh, right, that is it for me. I'm going to take a short break. Uh, momentum to recharge the batteries and I will see you all in seven minutes.
Okay, answers then for your first 30 coming up in a short moment's time. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, thank you very much for all the birthday wishes and stuff. But like I said, I didn't really want a fuss. Um, I got some, I got some very, I got some lovely small bits that Jack went out and picked, uh, including that which says "Dad is the boss." At least he knew. Um, so I got that from him. Um, got some sweets and a little tiny Lego model that he wanted, that he picked for us that he wanted to build. So I let him do that, and then. Sorry, I thought I was going to choke. Uh, and then uh, my best friend bought me, very kindly bought me the new uh, little Lego McLaren, which I haven't built yet. Jack hasn't seen it. It's hidden in here. Um, so I'm going to try and build that probably tomorrow when he's at school. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I'm, I'm 42. He doesn't, yeah. I'm 24 in adult years. That's what I'm going with now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies if you're older than 42. Sorry uh, for making you feel older. Right. Uh, lead that one there. Uh, that one there. What did I want to say? Oh, no. I'm going to leave that till I do the, the thing. Right. Yeah. It's fine. Let's give you some answers. Let's do that. That's what you're mainly here for. Not to hear me witter on. Right. Let's see how you did with those first 30 answers. Sorry. The Patreon Discord server has just gone out of control. It's just there's some very weird pictures being posted in there in the minute. I'm not going to look. Right. Here we go. Entertainment number one. Uh, who is this? That is Natalie Portman. Number two, how were Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles collectively known? They were the Powerpuff Girls. Number three, which singer had hits with Baby Love, You Can't Hurry Love, and I'm Coming Out? It was Diana Ross. I'm coming out. And number four, what was the name of the TV show created by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld? What was a fictionalized version of one of the creators? Seinfeld. The, the name was in the in the question. The answer was in the question. That's what I meant to say. Number five, which duo had a grand day out, a close shave, and faced a matter of loaf and death? It was Wallace and Gromit. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit. And number six, according to the title of an REM song, it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Number seven, which clumsy, destructive, but well-meaning character played by Rowan Atkinson destroys the famous painting Whistler's mother? It was Mr. Bean. Bean. Number eight, who is this more recognisable for his voice work? That's Mel Blanc, the voice behind uh, Bugs Bunny and many others. Number nine, who had hits with Son of a Preacher Man? I only want to be with you and you don't have to say you love me. It's Dusty Springfield. And number 10, which musical has songs? Something's Coming, Maria and I Feel Pretty. It is West Side Story. I know I was singing I Feel Pretty. I don't even know if that's the version from West Side Story. I've not seen West Side Story for years. I feel pretty, so, so pretty. I feel pretty. In that. I'm not sure, is that? I don't know. But my brain's not. My, but, 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 so yeah, as you can tell, my brain's not functioning tonight. Uh, food and drink, number one. What foodstuff is muscovado? It is sugar. Part of the reason why my brain's not functioning, I'm not eating yet. Number two, which type of pastry is traditionally used in eclairs, profiteroles, and churros? It's shoe pastry. Number three, which country does the lager Grosch originate? It's the Netherlands. Number four, which fruit stuff has three main categories of table, juice, and wine? It is grapes. Yes. For those of you who didn't know, wine comes from grapes. Hmm. Number five, is the Greek tara masalata a sweet or savoury dip? It is a savoury dip. Hmm. I actually thought it was a whole dish, to be honest, until I was doing my research on this and went, oh, it's a dip. Uh, number six, saffron is widely regarded as the most expensive. So, yeah, saffron is widely. Uh, yeah, and which of these is the second? It's vanilla. So pound for pound, vanilla is the second most expensive spice. Number seven, name the flatbread. It's a chipati, but there are also other words and I didn't put them in. And now I can't get onto my word document because it won't give me my menu. Uh, da, 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 da. What date are we on Thursday? The 11th. I've written so many quizzes this week. Uh, down we go. There we go. Chipati or roti as well. R-O-T-I. Chipati or a roti. Uh, number eight, from which language does the word biscuit originate? French. 
a classic. Well, it's a twit. That's a twist on a classic quiz question because usually it's what does biscuit stand for? Twice, uh, twice cooked. Yeah. Number nine. Which drink once had the slogan "What's the worst that could happen"? Doctor Pepper. I don't like Doctor Pepper. Not a fan. And number ten. ABV stands for alcohol by volume. <laughs> I thought wine. <laughs> Wine came from a supermarket. It does. It just started life on a vine as a grape. Uh, and round three then, two clues, one word. Number one, it could be child's or it could be on a stage. It is play, child's play or a play on a stage. Number two, somewhere to leave a car or somewhere to find swings. It is a park. Number three, a type of bird or a heavy lifting machine. High in the sky, it is crane. Number four, impartial or just or light blonde hair, it is fair. Number five, vital cricket equipment or a nocturnal animal, it is bat. Number six, something brand new or a storybook, it is novel. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna tweak this a little bit, um, but then I've changed my mind. Uh, something original i think something a new original thing is what i was going to change it to but i, I thought that stand stood out anyway uh, but yeah something brand new or a storybook is novel number seven a day in a calendar or a romantic meeting between two people it is date number eight a moment of a day or the runner-up it is second number nine it belongs to me or a deep shaft it is mine Stop giggling. <laughs> Honestly, I can hear people giggling from here. And number 10, from the tree or a dog speak, it is bark. It's a family friendly quiz. Come on. Sarah used to do that when, uh, when Sarah and I first met, when she was running the quiz in the greenfield, she used to do a naughty but nice round. And it sent one of the guys in there into bits of hysterics that he couldn't control for, yeah, for many, many hours. Because the questions sound rude, but they are very, very innocent answers. I could not get away with doing it on this quiz because, yeah, I, they sound very rude. Uh, anyway, right. Tot your scores up. How are you getting on so far? 30 points available then for you. Still to come, a connections round and general knowledge um, to while you're putting your scores together. So I got to meet up with some of the wonderful um, friends and patrons that um, some, I think I actually know one I hadn't met, one I hadn't met for the first, one I met for the first time. And we went to a quiz on Wednesday night in a nice little pub actually in Waterloo. And they get just five rounds, same as this. And there was a joke, you know, play your joker on a round and it goes connections round. I'm like, oh, King of Connections round is sat here. Let's play the Joker on that. Obviously, all the regulars knew to play it on the music round because music round was a piece of, yeah. Uh, so we played it on the Connections round, not knowing what was to come and blew it. Yes. So even the king of writing Connections rounds and have been writing it for, writing Connections rounds for who knows how many years. Um, even even I couldn't get the connection when we went to this quiz. And we I think we've, we finished sixth out of eight. Partially blaming the people that I was with, I'm just going to say. But then last night we went to my regular quiz and we came fifth. Oh, no, no, we didn't. Sorry, I apologise. We came second last night out, out of ten teams last night. So, yeah. Mm. It was a good night, though, even though we didn't win. Oh, we got anywhere near the top three. Uh, right, I think scores are coming through. Yep, so let's do it. So then, connections round. Nine questions. Question number 10, what links all the answers together? For those of you who were with me at the quiz night, this is not the quiz from that night, just so you're aware. Uh, this is not the connections round. I am not that cheeky, evil, or stealing somebody else's idea. This is another brand new one for you this evening. So it's not Monopoly, I'm afraid. So get those guesses in. If you want to guess before the round starts, guess now. And here's your first question. Uh, what W describes a champion or victor of something? So what W describes a champion or victor of something? No clues, no clues, not giving anything away. No clues. It's quite a thinker this one, that's why. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, number two, what is the other card alongside Community Chest in a game of Monopoly? The connection isn't Monopoly. I needed this for the... Yeah. Uh, what is the other card alongside Community Chest in a game of Monopoly? Number three, what word can go in front of market, star, and vice? Yes, I know that's spell. When you put the word in front of it, it's fine. I've run out of words. I mean, I did find some others, but I kind of forgot to change it. So what word can go in front of market, star, and vice? How? How have people got it after two questions? Come on. I have to turn connection round up to level evil. Uh, number four, what is the name of the fluid made by bees from nectar collected from flowers? So what is the name of the fluid made from bees from nectar made by bees from nectar collected from flowers? My head's gone to the garage, so I bring you flowers in the bring back. Yeah, I've not had it. I've not been drinking for quite a while, and I'm slightly concerned as to what would happen when I start drinking again. Medically, reasons why I'm not drinking, just so it's not like, but yeah. Hmm. Number five, what cue is the name given to the female ruler of an independent state? What cue is the name given to the female ruler of an independent state? Hmm. Train. Rather annoyingly, that could have I could have done with that in a couple of questions time but uh, number six what m is a current medium of exchange in the form of coins and banknotes so what m is a current medium of exchange in the form of coins and banknotes aha some of you have got it Number seven, what is the first name of Formula One star Alonso and footballer Torres? What is the first name of Formula One star Alonso and footballer Torres? Number eight, what is the name of the London station that was the first base of the Eurostar services? What is the name of the London station that was the first base of the Eurostar services? Dang it, nabbit. Ha! Number eight was Colin. Ha! Sorry, that sounded really evil. Sorry, someone just said, is number nine a London train station, perhaps? Number eight. Mm. <laughs> number nine is, in Morse code, what does dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot stand for? <laughs> so in Morse code, what does dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot stand for? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Colin's a fellow quiz master, so he understands fully what it takes to put in these things together. So uh, I'd, I'll I'll take my little. Nah, 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 nah. And as always, question number ten when it wants to come up, uh, what links those nine answers together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
So the make or break round that seems to stop people from getting 50 out of 50 because there always seems to be a question that trips people up in here. But here's your general knowledge number one. Daniel Hume wrote Robinson Crusoe. So Daniel Hume wrote Robinson Crusoe. I know what the next question is. And number two. Name the country. <laughs> I'm just moving back because I just feel like there's a load of things just been launched at your screens. Please don't throw things at your tellies at me, aimed at me. To, yeah. When I do book signings, if you want to bring Easter eggs to throw at me, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, but name the country for number two. Uh, number three, what side of the ship is port side? So what side of the ship is port side? Train. Number four, name the game pictured here. So name the game pictured here for number four. Number five, what side of the road do you drive in Ireland? So what side of the road do you drive on in Ireland? Number six, how many dances appear in the NATO phonetic alphabet? How many dances appear in the NATO phonetic alphabet? <laughs> Number seven, how are the Sandwich Islands known in modern day? How are the Sandwich Islands known in modern day? Number eight, which color belt comes before black belt in judo? So which color belt comes before black belt in judo? Judo. Number nine, what is the name of a beaver's home called? Is it a hotel, a cabin or a lodge? So what is the name of a beaver's home called? Is it a hotel, a cabin or a lodge? Ooh. And your, oh hang on, no, let me push that button first. 
And your final question tonight. What was set to be the final destination of the Titanic on its maiden voyage? So what was set to be the final destination of the Titanic on its maiden voyage? Right, that's your final 20 questions, which are up now on jvpqquestions.com or scan that QR code on the left-hand side of your screens. Uh, that will take you to the website. As I said before, go to 6th of April and just scroll down and all, all five rounds are there now, including that flag picture for you. Right, I'm going to take seven minutes. That one. I'm going to take seven minutes and when I come back, we'll see how you did. See you in this. See you Mm-hmm.
Right. Um, start putting those final answers down. They are coming. Uh, the I will give you the answer. I'll give you the answers in a short moment's time. So make sure you've got your last ones written down. Uh, when you go to the after quiz posts on Facebook or Instagram this evening, uh, if you haven't already, I put a post up on Monday. The publishers. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm on my throat today. Uh, the publishers of, have been asking for possible locations uh, if we were to hold an event because they're in talks with a few companies about doing it. And now loads of you have been on there and the publishers are actually watching. I don't have to report back. They've got all the links. So they're actually looking at it and making lists themselves. Uh, so if you haven't already, please do scroll down. When you put your score on, scroll down to that post and put a UK county on there um, and let us know where, if you'd like to come to an event, let us know where you would like to see them. Uh, we do have two events booked in, which I'm hoping to be able to share the details with you very, very soon. We just had to move one of the days uh, in that week. Um, but just as a bit of a hint, they are up here in the north. Um, so yeah, so I know a lot. There were a few people who actually sort of like asked for the location, and I can't really say at the minute. Uh, so yeah, there will be some events. So, but yeah, if you could, if you do want to come to the events and you want the opportunity to make sure that I'm heading in your area and give yourself the best chance of that, do scroll down on our Facebook or Instagram page and put your county in there. And as soon as I've got some news, I will share it with you all across socials and all the links and what have you. Uh, and if you are on the Patreon side of things, you guys are gonna get sort of 24 hours sort of heads up, basically, just in case you weren't aware. I did tell some the other day, uh, but you'll get 24 hours heads up. So when, when we've got the sort of events booked in, Patrons will get 24 hours to get sort of a head start on it. But there we go. Uh, but I'll share more information when I've got it right. Okay, here we go. Round four, then your connections round, which by all accounts, yeah, uh, I thought this was tricky tonight, but there you go. Uh, here we go. Here's your answers, number one. Uh, what W describes a champion or victor of something? It is winner. Whoa, too far. Number two, what is the other card alongside community chest in a game of Monopoly? It is chance. Number three, what word can go in front of market, star, and vice? It is super, as in supermarket, superstar, or supervise. I know, I'm stretching it a little bit, but I was having one of those days uh, when I wrote this. Uh, number four, what is the name of the fluid made by bees from nectar collected from flowers? It is honey. Number five, what Q is the name given to the female ruler of an independent state? It is queen. Number six, what M is a current medium of exchange in the form of coins and banknotes? It is money. Number seven, what is the first name of F1 star Alonso and footballer Torres? It is Fernando. Fernando. Number eight, what is the name of the London station that was the first base of the Eurostar services? It is Waterloo. Number nine, in Morse code, what does dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 stand for? SOS. And if you didn't know before and looking at those answers, they are all the songs by ABBA. It is their anniversary of their uh, win down in Brighton. Uh, uh, next month, I think it is. Um, but yeah, it flagged up and I thought, you know what? That's a great connection round. Uh, so yeah, so they are songs by ABBA. If you're still struggling, uh, Winner Takes It All, Take a Chance on Me, Super Trooper, Honey Honey, um, Dancing Queen, Money Money Money, Fernando, uh, Waterloo and S.O.S. thought by not putting the full songs in just putting words in people might but anyway, anyway. Uh, general knowledge number one daniel whom wrote robinson crusoe it was defoe willem defoe willem defoe willem defoe number two uh, name the country that is moldova number three what side of the ship is port side it is left to the left to the left uh, number four, name the game. That's a Tamagotchi. Number five, what side of the road do you drive on in Ireland? It's the left. Number six, how many dances appear in the NATO phonetic alphabet? There are two, Foxtrot and Tango. Number seven, how are the Sandwich Islands known in modern day Hawaii? Number eight, which color belt comes before black belt in judo? It is brown. Number nine, what is the name of a beaver's home called? It is a lodge. 
And your final one tonight, number 10. What was set to be the final destination of the Titanic on its maiden voyage? It was New York City. Shut that down and shut that down. Okay, that is your final question of this evening. Your after quiz post is up now on Facebook and Instagram. So head on over to there if you want to. Well, not yeah, please share your scores on there. And as I say, scroll down and find that post if you want to come to any of the events around the book. There's going to be various, I think there's going to be various ones. There'll be some that are just solely come along, say hello. Uh, book signing kind of thing and then i think there might be some other events where there's an actual quiz involved in it uh sli slightly scary that someone reminded me earlier there are only five weeks to go until the book is out and i am slightly scared um now realizing it's that close anyway right tie-breaking question if you need it this evening hydra is listed as one of the top three largest constellations in the sky its brightest star alphard is how many light years away from earth so Hydra is listed as one of the top three largest constellations in the sky. Its brightest star, Alphard, is how many light years away from Earth? Remember, nearest to this gets the point. Mm -hmm. Right, pens down. Nearest to this gets the point. And it is 177 light years away. Uh, so, yeah, if you know your constellations and you look and you see the Hydra constellation and you see the brightest star in it, which is Alphard, you now know that that is 177 light years away. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Thursday night quiz for this evening. Thank you very much for joining me. I do let me know how you got on, as I say, across our social media posts. If you've never been on there before, the links are down in the description of this video here on YouTube. So do head on over there. Uh, that is it from me this evening. Thank you very much for your company and your witticisms and etc. as well as usual. Um, I will be back on Saturday night uh, with another quiz for you. If you're not with us on Saturday night, I'll see you on Thursday. That is it from me this evening. Let me know how you got on and I need to go to that one. That's it. And I'll see you all soon. As always for me, take care and stay safe.